Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number 6. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Dynamic Charts. Hey, number 6, we finally get to a pivot table. Perhaps the best way to do dynamic charts. One of the main advantages um, earlier in these earlier five videos we were doing transactional charts so individual days were sitting on there we weren't doing any aggregating we weren't grouping by month from a transactional uh, data set or by um, product or anything like that so the pivot table just makes that so easy I'm gonna click in one cell the keyboard shortcut in 2003 and before is Alt DP and actually this opens up the three-step wizard in uh, 2007 I'm gonna close that I'm gonna click in one cell and use the keyboard shortcut in 2007 and 10 Alt NVT now Alt NVT is more letters to type out but it gets you the one-step wizard it's got the table I want it on a new worksheet I'm gonna go ahead and drag in earlier versions you have to drag to the actual sheet in this uh, 2007 10 I'm going to drag down to the row right click group I'm going to say months and years notice there's only one year so I'm going to uncheck this I'll drag sales down here um, and let's draw drag uh, product right over to the column so now we have a big table now there's a few ways we can create charts I'm gonna just gonna click somewhere in that pivot table and go to the insert and I'll just select a column now it puts it right on top um, and sometimes this is kind of uh, uh, crowded uh, I would like to switch this notice we have our um, let me see if I can make this a little bit smaller not gonna let me do it only a little bit smaller we can make it bigger <laughs> but not smaller. Now, one thing I'd like to do is switch the uh, months and the uh, products here, but if I go up to design, that button is not available. I have to actually do it right in the pivot table. So I'm going to actually go like this, legend, I'm going to put this over here, and then date, I'm going to put this over here. And sure enough, the uh, chart totally updates, right? Now I'm going to close this one and just deal with this. Ah, here's the product down here. I want to just see the quad. So I'm going to use these built-in sorting and filters right in the pivot table. So this option, earlier in one of our earlier videos, we saw how awesome filter is because it has sorting and all sorts of amazing filters. But here we are, we're doing a pivot table which is aggregating the data and we can sort and we can filter for this chart. This is just unbelievable. I'm going to just show the a quad for example and so there it is and how about for uh, the date uh, I want to see just um, unselect all I want to see January, February, March and April so there it is uh, how about um, go up to layout we want to add some data labels I want to say outside end Actually, why don't I select the chart and do that again? <coughs> Data labels outside in, and it does them all. So there we have it. Um, totally dynamic. I'm going to look at the Aspen now. What were the total sales for Aspen? Totally amazing. Dynamic chart using a pivot table and some of the uh, filtering, sorting aspects that are available in the pivot chart. All right, we'll see you next trick.